Venus is the second one out from the Sun and the nearest one to Earth. As a result of its size and density being close to Earth, the two have been compared as twin planets, but there are significant distinctions between them. Scientists claim that Venus's atmosphere may be habitable, and though it seems hard to believe, Venus has temperate and friendly upper atmospheric areas. Keep watching to better understand how scientists have discovered life on Venus and nine interesting facts about the planet. The fifth Venus fact in this post will surprise you the most. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment telling us what you think about the possibility of life on Venus. Scientists have discovered life on Venus. Phosphine is an organic waste product. Therefore, finding it in Venus's clouds could be evidence of life on the planet. Venus has similar cloud decks to Earth, but its surface is uninhabitable. Entomologist Jane Greaves led the 2020 Venusian Atmospheric Phosphine investigation. She started using a penguin to represent where phosphine is in her presentations, creating a meme. She later apologized to the American Astronomical Society AAS, for misleading people about the penguin notion. She also claimed that they didn't advocate penguins flapping above Venus. Nevertheless, she did hint that there is evidence of phosphine being present in Venus's clouds. In the two years following her initial phosphine work gained scientific and popular attention, numerous scientists analyzed it and did their studies. A variety of reactions from the scientific world welcomed phosphine's discovery. Greaves presented fresh phosphine evidence in the Venus clouds at the AAS. JCMT finds phosphine again. Greaves presented findings from her phosphine detection experiment, which included data from two telescopes. In 2017, the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope, JCMT, in Mauna Kea, Hawaii, viewed Venus. In 2019, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA radio telescope system in northern Chile, collected data. Greaves believes JCMT again spotted phosphine with a particular telescope science device. This confirms that phosphine has been seen three times by two separate groups using separate sets of telescopes. NASA's SOFIA telescope found phosphine again. SOFIA searched Venus for phosphine before its impending shutdown due to funding shortages. By examining the flight's publicly available data, Greaves may have found phosphine at three parts per billion at 65 kilometers, 40 miles or higher, encompassing Venus's tallest clouds. Then why is phosphine so difficult to detect? Venus is too bright to detect phosphine. Initial phosphine discoveries were temporarily halted. The data had to be recalibrated because the ALMA telescope is not used to peering at such bright objects. The signal must be processed to reduce Doppler effects, induced by Venus and Earth's relative motion. Researchers must validate the phosphine signal following the comprehensive data analysis. Greaves uses a Fourier transform to streamline calculating the data from her observations. The method would eliminate user biases and simplify her task. A potential issue is that sulfur dioxide signals are similar to phosphine signals. Greaves and her team examined the data and concluded that sulfur dioxide could boost the intensity of a phosphine pulse, but only slightly. Venus Exploration The best method of discovering phosphine would need a comprehensive study of Venus's atmosphere. NASA's pioneer Venus Multiprobe launched probes into Venus's atmosphere in 1978. A team led by Pomona, California biological chemistry professor Rakesh Mogul found phosphine in mission data. Venus missions were rare until recently. Six Venus probes will visit in the next decade. Rocket Lab will execute the first private Venus voyage in 2023 to discover phosphine. Using a phosphine detector, the Shukrayan 1 spacecraft is scheduled for liftoff in 2024. In 2028, NASA will launch Da Vinci to investigate Venus's atmosphere. NASA's radar-equipped spaceship Veritas will explore Venus's surface in 2028. The 2028 UAE Multiple Asteroid Mission includes a Venus flyby. Phosphine will possibly be detected by the satellite. 
In 2031, ESA's Envision mission will explore Venus's atmosphere and composition. In addition, the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope could prove useful. JWST must keep its back to Venus and the inner solar system to prevent overheating. The JWST may find phosphine gas in the universe. According to a study, the observatory must stare at a distant globe for tens of hours while looking for phosphine. JWST might also check for water and methane, doubling the number of biosignatures it could detect. Here are the top 9 facts concerning the planet Venus. Venus is the hottest planet. Despite Mercury's proximity to the Sun, Venus is the hottest planet. Venus's thick atmosphere causes a massive greenhouse effect that warms the planet significantly. Due to its thick clouds, Venus absorbs less sunlight than Earth, despite being closer to the Sun. Nonetheless, enough sunshine reaches the surface in the atmosphere. Some sun rays are taken in and then released as infrared heat. Here on planet Earth, infrared rays are reflected into space. Venus's temperature rises because its thick carbon dioxide clouds absorb and then emit infrared light. Venus spins clockwise on its axis In contrast to most other planets in the solar system, Venus rotates clockwise on its axis. This means that Venus seems to move in the opposite direction of the rest of the solar system. This indicates that the Sun rises in the west on Venus and sets in the east, which is the exact opposite of what happens on Earth. This is most likely because it was pushed out of its upright posture earlier in its history by a massive item, which caused it to change the direction in which it rotates. One Venusian day is equal to 243 Earth days. A full rotation of Venus's axis takes 243 Earth days. As a result, one day on Venus is comparable to 243 Earth days making it the planet with the longest rotation period in the solar system. This is because the planet rotates on its axis extremely slowly, that it goes around the Sun faster than it spins. With around 4.05 miles per hour, or 6.2 kilometers per hour, Venus has the solar system's slowest rotational speed of any other planet. In contrast, the Earth spins at around 1,040.4 miles per hour, or 1,674.4 kilometers per hour. Similarly, a year on Venus lasts 224.7 Earth days since it takes that long for Venus to orbit the Sun. The length of a day on Venus is greater than a year, which is a strange aspect to consider, right? The atmospheric pressure on Venus is quite high. One of the many reasons why strolling Venus would be an intolerable experience is that the surface is subject to extremely high pressures. The atmospheric pressure is nearly 90 times that of the surface of Earth, or about the same as the pressure you'd find at a depth of 0.6 miles, 1 kilometer in the ocean. That indicates that you couldn't stand on it without being crushed. That is, assuming the heat didn't knock you out first. The Soviet Union was the only nation to land on Venus. Mariner 2 was the first NASA space mission to study Venus, but it never got close enough to the planet to enter its atmosphere or touch down on the surface. After its rendezvous with Venus, the spacecraft continued to orbit the Sun. Its closest approach to Venus was 21,607 miles kilometers. The Soviet Union successfully probed Venus's atmosphere with the Venera 4 space mission launched in 1967. With Venera 4, scientists could examine Venus in greater detail and learn how its atmosphere is made up. As a result, it proved that Venus's surface temperature was significantly higher than what Mariner 2 had predicted. Between 1961 and 1984, 10 probes were landed safely on the surface of Venus as part of the Venera program, which Soviet Russia conducted. 13 investigations were launched into the atmosphere of the planet, but due to the hostile environment, the probes only kept in touch with the planet briefly. Two hours was the longest the probe survived on the planet's surface. Venus cannot support a human-crewed spacecraft like the moon landings. Venus also enabled early space collaboration. Scientists from the USSR and the USA collaborated to examine the data from Verena 4 and Mariner 5. Venus resembles Earth, yet differs greatly. Venus may be Earth's twin in the solar system. The estimated mass of Venus is 4.8675 by 1,024 kilograms. 1.073 times 1,025 pounds. 
This represents 81.5% of Earth's mass. It has a diameter of 3,760.5 miles, 6,052 kilometers, compared to Earth's 6,378 kilometers, or 4,432 miles. Given their sizes and masses, they are made up of similar materials, but they are very different in other aspects. The surface of Venus is about 482 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit, and the atmospheric carbon dioxide has a pressure 95 times that of Earth's. The clouds it produces are composed of sulfuric acid. The surface of Venus can be best described as an uninhabitable wasteland. Many people's curiosity over Venus is centered on how two comparable planets could be so dissimilar. The Roman goddess of love and beauty inspired the name Venus. Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty owing to its dazzling jewel-like brilliance. Because it shone the brightest amongst some of the five planets known to ancient astronomers, Venus is the only other planet in the solar system to be named after a female deity, the other one being Gaia, the alternative title for Earth. Furthermore, it is interesting that several of its surfaces are named after legendary or historical ladies. Aphrodite Terra in the south and Ishtar Terra in the north are two of its majestic islands. In Babylonia, Aphrodite is the equivalent of Venus, whereas in Greece, Ishtar is the deity of affection, justice, and political authority. Sacagawea, a volcanic crater on Venus, is named after a Native American lady who accompanied Lewis and Clark in exploration. Venus shines brighter than most other things in the sky. Venus is a star you may have seen before whenever you go stargazing. After the sun and the moon, Venus is the third brightest object in the sky having an absolute magnitude of 4.92 to 2.98. Venus is brilliant enough to throw shadows on Earth. The planet can also be viewed without the aid of a telescope. On particularly clear days, Venus is sometimes seen during the midst of the day. As it shines so brightly, it is often misidentified as a UFO, unidentified flying object. That's interesting information about Venus to pass along. Venus has the most volcanoes. Venus's thick clouds and atmosphere made it hard to examine. Thus, everything that transpired on its surface was a mystery for much longer. The Soviet Venera 9 and 10 spacecraft took the first black and white photos in 1975. In 1982, the Venera 13 and 14 landers returned color images of Venus's enigmatic terrain. The dense atmosphere turns Venus's rocky surface orange. Two-thirds of Venus's surface consists of featureless plains and tectonic plates are virtually absent. Later, researchers discovered that volcanic activity shaped much of the planet's surface. They found that there were significantly more volcanoes on Venus than on Earth. More than a thousand volcanoes are documented on its surface, making it the planet with the most volcanic features in the solar system. The planet may still be active, even if most volcanoes are extinct. We hope that you've discovered interesting facts concerning the planet Venus. Goodbye to our esteemed viewers. Please do not forget to follow us, like our video, and leave a comment for us. We will be glad to know what your thoughts are concerning Venus.